the hardest part about being an artist? I think that would have to be patience. I mean, I've had times where I've been working on drawings and I thought, I'll be done with this in four hours. And then, before I know it, 80 hours has gone by and I'm still working on it. And then I think to myself, wasn't I supposed to have been done with this 70 hours ago or more? And then I just keep drawing and adding things to it. But I would say most definitely the most difficult thing for me as an artist would be patience. And I think for a lot of people it would be patience because you practice for a long time. You might practice for maybe months to get better. And for a lot of people, you've been practicing for years to try to get better. And you don't really see a lot of improvement. And then you feel like giving up. And then you look around you and you see what other people are creating. And you think to yourself, uh, you know, what's the point of me doing this? Because that person there is so much better. Whereas I'm constantly practicing and I'm not improving a lot. But we all improve at different rates. We all have our own styles and things that we create. But patience is something that I noticed I struggle with more when I was creating artwork to try to be as good as someone else, to try to um, do something that wasn't quite creative. It was more of um, this sort of repetitive process for example that's why I like doodling and, and drawing abstract is because if I'm drawing something that is a portrait I'm pretty much just copying what is already there I see and then I'm just putting that on a piece of paper that's a meticulous type of art for me and that's why I've always enjoyed doing abstract doing doodling because I'm making something that hasn't existed yet I'm making something that's never been there and it's more creative, it's more um, expressive. I can get more ideas onto the paper. And so then it keeps me from having artist block to where I don't get, you know, lost and, and trying to figure out what to draw. Because I always have something to draw, something to create. And I did notice that I lost a lot of the patience when I was trying to be as good as other people or when I was not focused on the creativity of it and that's when I started focusing a lot more on drawing different types of art um, doing different type of doodling and abstract because I can just put anything on there I can and make it look interesting but that I guess that depends on the viewer I mean you've always got people that are critical of everything and um, you can't make everybody happy so I always create for myself. I create because I enjoy it. I create because it helps keep my mind off of things. It helps keep me in a better mood. It helps me express ideas and things that are in my mind that I can't really get out there. And I've never really been able to put it in words. And when I was younger, I had actually had a lot more patience when I was really young. I think it wasn't until I got a little bit older. I'd say around the age of 18 I started having problems with patience I wanted I wanted to hurry up I wanted to just get the artwork done and now I'm more focused on having fun in the moment of what I'm creating being focused on what I'm creating but not only worrying about the end result and when you do that and you're in the moment and having fun patience won't be much of an issue just like if you're playing a video game, you're doing something you really enjoy. Time goes by so fast when you're doing it that you can play a video game for maybe 8 hours. And it's only felt like maybe 30 minutes. But you can go do something you don't like to do. Or something that isn't um, really something you have much interest in or much joy of. And you can do it for an hour and it's going to feel like it's been a whole day. So I create the artwork that I like to create. I take suggestions from people um, for things they want me to draw. But for the most part, I just create for myself. I create the artwork that I want to put out there that's in my head or that's in my mind that is expressing the ideas that I have. And then after about the age of 
23, I developed more patience. And then at, at the age of 26, when I really got focused on drawing, and I was really focused on um, creating more abstract art, that's when I started to have way more patience because I wasn't focused on only doing portraits all the time. I started creating the things that I wanted to create. And I was have fun, having a lot of fun in that process of that. And so time went by a lot quicker. I didn't have as much frustration of trying to get artwork done because while I was doodling and creating abstract art, there are so many things that I can put in the drawing. There's so many things that I can add in there. And a little intricate little designs here. Maybe there's a little face there. Maybe there's a hand or maybe I'm drawing a heart or maybe there's um, organic stuff here and buildings. and There's always things you can add. There's always things that I can put into it. And that's what I love about it. That's what's so interesting and fun for me. And my patience is a lot higher now when it comes to uh, drawing. And not only has it, have I gotten more patience with, um, no, only from drawing, but it's helped me with my patience in life in general. Um, you know, when I was, I would say at a point when I was like maybe 20, you know, let's say you're in a line at, at um, a store or somewhere, and you want to hurry up and you just want to get your stuff done so you can go home. And now, if I have to wait in a long line or I'm somewhere waiting on something, I have so much more patience now that I'll, sometimes I actually end up thinking about a lot of stuff and then I'll kind of just be like standing in line and I'm waiting for the line to shorten up and I'll be so focused on thinking about things that the person behind me will like tell me hey uh, the line's short you can walk forward but um it's kind of funny how things work with that time this goes by so fast for having fun but it goes by so slow when you're not having fun. But, I mean, there's a part of that that would be a topic for a whole nother video that would be um, within psychology as far as remembering things um, that are traumatic and difficult better than remembering things that are fun and enjoyable because it's a way of our mind processing things to remember difficult times so that we learn from those mistakes and we don't make those mistakes again and so that we can see any danger that's around us and try to work through it and avoid it but back to the topic of patience um, I've developed a lot more patience now with things in life and it, not only has it helped me with art but it's helped me in other areas of my life and I just, uh, I just keep drawing, I keep creating things, I keep on having fun and as I move forward with all this, with art and creativity and um, doodling all this stuff, that, yeah, I say stuff because, well, I don't really know what most of it is. It just kind of comes out of my mind. And as I keep doing this, I'm developing and building more patience. And I hope that uh, any of you out there that are creating as well, I hope it's helping you with your patience. I mean, I've seen some people that have about that much patience they don't have uh they can't wait very long especially if i'm like when i'm out driving some people i see like when there's a red light and it turns green if you don't like go within 0 0.0001 seconds they're like angry and i've seen people other people do this when they're behind someone else's car <laughs> oh, it's like their their foot is on the gas like right on the gas, ready to push the gas pedal. The instant the light turns green. But um, but then again, you don't want to be uh, so patient to where <laughs> you wait 20 seconds to go. But uh, anyways, um, let me know what has helped you in life with, with patience. Has it been art or has it been something else? It could be music, it could be writing, singing, whatever it is. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below and we can have a discussion about that. But until the next video, keep on doing what you're doing, keep on creating, keep having fun, and try to work on the patience if you can. It's definitely helped me a lot. I'll see you later.